Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to violence. Well, first of all, here we are with uh, Tammy and Sam from the fabulous Faster QC Guys. Thank you so much, sir, for having the time for, for us. Any time for my brother. <laughs> How you guys been doing? How's the tour going? It's going, it's going pretty killer. All the shows have been great, you know, and these ki these kids are on guitar are just fucking amazing. So it's been, it's been, all the shows have been killer. The routing has been kind of ridiculous and stupid. It's costed us basically 20 grand already in fuel. And we still got a few weeks to go. So it's been expensive right. to tour, but the shows have been fucking killer. Right. And it's you guys and Elegance and Tom Kiefer from Cinderella, right? Yeah, that's the main tour. But we're Tom only does like three shows a week. Okay. So, so we've been filling dates like we have a couple days off this week and then we play in our own show tomorrow and right. then we have another day off and then we do some more shows with Tom but we're doing a lot of shows on our days off because we only have at the most two days off a week so right right um the other thing I wanted to ask you I, I asked the same thing to Mike and Monroe the other day and you get to play with Alice Cooper and he invite you to jump in the state. How was that? Oh, that was awesome. On the boat, too. It was cool. Yeah, we toured with them back in the old days. So right. it, was, it was it was fun. And it was cool. It's like they had my name written down on some shit. And I was like, even remember how to spell my name. So that was good. So, uh, <laughs> but, well, so first but, yeah, it was cool, thing, right? Yeah, it was fun. That was cool as shit. I was uh, there watching it. It was pretty freaking <laughs> right, Michael Moreau was saying like he was a fan, you know, back in the day. He still is, and get the chance to actually, you know, share a stage with that. So I can imagine how you guys feel. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. That's, that's cool shit. But hey, on, we're, when, go ahead. No, no. I, I think this is more like for you that you were there, you know, at the beginning of the whole, you know, LA scene. I, I, what do you think about like you know you have monthly touring you have like poison touring you have you guys never stop touring but like you know it seems like the, the the whole scene is coming back don't you think that well it's it's been back for a while but it's just it's what what the thing is is, is it's still around right. you know what i mean after all these years because you th think about the times when we grew up and came out and doing shit and the bands that were that we kind of grew up listening to and stuff like that. The Aerosmiths and the Kiss and the other shit like that. And there's a lot of those bands too that weren't, that were just basically done. You know what I mean? So it's weird, like 35 years later that all these bands, you know, are still fucking touring. And, and, and you know, getting we're, bigger. I mean, yeah, the scenes is getting so, bigger. Yeah. I mean, they're playing, they're, those guys are playing fucking stadiums, but but they're all together, you know what I mean? So right. it, that helps, but it's still, it's cool. It's like, it's still, they're still, it's still relevant. So it's right. just cool. You know right. I mean? but this didn't happen it's like still fun 10 years ago. Cause it was the, cause it was the, it's the fun shit. You know what I mean? Right. That period of time was, was fun. And everybody still wants to, if people remember from back when we were all young, they still want to, ah, uh, they gotta go. And, that's the way it's been this summer for us too. It's just right. with us, LA Guns and Tom, it's just been like people just in droves coming out and just basically reliving their childhood kind of, you know, their, right. their young adult lives. So and it's, it's yeah, been really and cool. Bringing their kids. Yeah, bringing their kids and some of them, they're, yeah. they're kids' kids. So it's pretty getting fucking ridiculous. Yeah. Right. And how you feel, Sam, about the, the whole, like, you know, coming back scenes? They like being so young and stuff, and they're hanging out with those guys. It's it's a great time. I mean, the uh, it. I don't really think the stuff really ever went away. I mean, because these guys have been touring consistently right. forever. So it's you know, but seeing I guess maybe a little resurgence of it. You know, it's it's cool. It's all positive. And, and now you have Ronnie in the band. 
John yeah, Wayne from yeah. Christian, right? Yeah. What, uh, what 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 happened with Christian? Where he's not in the band right now, or he's like temporarily out, or he's like out? No, he's he's out, but uh, he had his had his part. We we're still good friends. We're, it's just we needed to make this band a lot better. So right. and that was just he was just he was burnt. He was like burnt out too. Right. So, but we're um, still we're still good. He'll still be like part of the family. Like I I remember when. When I was with you guys, uh, it was kind of like a family. That was like, you know, off the record, I was telling Sam that we were hanging out as a family for 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 real. Like, you guys right, made yeah. me feel like I was part of the family. I was one of, you know, you, you guys. You were until you defected. You <laughs> and left us, you motherfucker. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, that's why Christian was in the band in the first place. He was right. with us back in the newly deads. And we kept, you know, I kept him in the band because he was my bro. You know what I mean? Right. It wasn't because he was a great guitar player. He was, he, he did his job. He did, you know, and he's our, he was family, but right. it was a time to where he was getting, getting moody and burnt on shit. And I was like, fuck it, let's just make this band a little bit better. And right. Ronnie right. was, Ronnie was, we toured with Ronnie when we brought we had brought the art out on a couple tours. So we've been friends with Ronnie for a decade right. too. So when it was time to replace Christian, it was kind of it was kind of easy. It was like he was the first one to contact me about it. And and I was like, it was pretty, pretty natural for him jumping in. And him and Samuel are really good too. They pick him. It's just the two of them together up there just really electrified this whole fucking tour so yeah awesome I, it's, I mean, made, I mean, it's made you... it's yeah, go ahead. it's made it fucking everybody's going these those guys up there are just you, you guys have never sounded better and fucking and i and i owe it to sam and and and, and then ronnie stepping in as well so they make I, us and fucking danny and chad way better <laughs> <laughs> well they, they push you i mean they push you you know to the limit to to be better like I, I can watch the videos, you know, running around on, online on YouTube, and mm -hmm. you guys sound great. So, yeah, and I know how you guys sound before because I've been there, and yeah. I think you you sound better now. Thank you. I I agree. Thank you. No, that's true. Um, well, let, let me ask you, Tim. This um, you've been sober for like six years now, right? Okay. Almost, almost six, yeah. Well, first it's congratulations. Like just five. It's five years right now. Okay. Well, that's a lot. Yeah. First congratulations, and, and I want you to to say something to the people you know who actually struggle with this. Um, the, the, I mean, you can tell that it is possible, you know. And, oh yeah, it's definitely. I never thought the main reason, main reason I quit. I got sick, but but there's a lot of reasons to quit for, for your age, you know, your age and your body can only handle so much shit. You're not invincible. Pretty soon you could, you can just be dead in a, in a minute. And I, I worry about Chad and Danny sometimes cause they're drinking and, and they're not, you know, they're not what we used to be when we were fucking young and just tearing right. shit up. You, you were there. Yes. And, uh, yeah. But the main thing about me quitting, you know, being sober and whatever too is, is quitting smoking was that was the I could quit I wasn't an alcoholic I just drank when we easy my motto was I just drink when I work right so it's like you know when I'm done touring or done doing shows I'm like I don't even want to see it I don't even want to see but I chain smoke like a motherfucker since I was you know 14 years old so American spirit yeah and the fucking <laughs> co and the fuck quit the cocaine too <laughs> right so it's like, yeah, so I, I'm so, a struggle but, myself. I, I I quit smoking for like a year now, over a year, and I still want to, oh, wow. you know, light up a cigarette. And it's well, because that happens. That's what happens if because I quit everything at once. I quit right. the drinking, I quit the smoking, and I quit the drugs at once. So I don't have the only thing that I was really worried about was my fucking morning coffee because I fucking right. it was that coffee and the fucking cigarettes that right. was my shit. So. But I got through it. So now I, I still I drink my coffee, but that's it. You know what I mean? So just stick with that. Yeah, every once in a blue moon, you'll be like, oh, that cigarette and that fucking Corona on a hot day. You know what I mean? Right. Cold beer and fucking. But 
it's five years running now and I don't, I don't crave it. There'll be like those times where uh, I'd be fun, but it is doable. Think about the damage. Yeah. Oh. It's definitely doable. Boy. Oh. You just got to get past that hump of smoking too. Just right. that fucking like weak. And then you could, then you can bull, bulldoze through it. Yeah, and you feel like, oh, oh, it happened to me. I was feeling like, wow, actually, I can pull this off. Like, I quit smoking. Yeah. And you surprise yourself. And, and it's like, get, get out and get out and walk. Get out. You don't have to run. Just get out and do walks in the morning. And it helped. That helps, too. Because it right. just, you go and go, shit. I remember not even being able to walk halfway down the block without just fucking dying from breathing. And now it's like, yeah, I do a few miles and it's fucking easy. And singing, singing, it's like before I'd be like, if we had a day off or so, we go to do the next show, I'd be like just winded after a couple songs. Right. And now it's not, I don't even get winded. So it's cool. That's awesome. Awesome. Let's get to back to the music a little bit. Um, you guys released like a, a two singles. Well, actually, it's a um, Shining Thunder cover, right? And a brand new yeah, yeah. song, Nola. Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. Why can't it sounds amazing? Uh, I, I I have it, you know. But I want to ask you, what about the the full record? Or you want to keep it like a single kind of thing? Or what was going on with that? We well, we just did. I just we just did for the band. We just did a a singles deal with Golden Robot Records. Okay. So we got we have more in the can, and then we'll put out an album. When it's when they're when they're all done, but we're gonna keep putting out singles because it's it's a different world today. You know yes. what I mean? Let's just get the songs out so people can hear them and download them and listen to them. Or if we put them out on vinyl, cool. And they got souvenir too as well. So piece of piece of little history because like the Nola CD, the the Nola vinyl with the uh, pirate love on the back. It's just a cool piece of. Red vinyl, just everything looks fucking badass on it too. So yeah, it's, it's a nice but piece we got, of collection. We, me and Sam worked on a bunch of. Uh, we got a few more songs They're already almost done. What two are done, and then two more are almost done. So awesome. when we get back home, we'll uh, get those on the burner for with Golden Robot. Since we've been out on the road, we did the deal with Mark over at Golden Robot to get get those right. the next batch of songs they're going to probably re-release nola and pirate love as well because okay. it wasn't really released we just we just did it on vinyl and then put it up on apple music so people can fucking hear it and shit so right but they'll market it because it's a good song and <clears throat> they're cool but the there's new two new ones already done a master ready to come out when we get back we'll start planning that so pretty much you, you guys doing like you know step by step like two songs then Cut another two songs and then finally you get the album. Yeah, we but we got yeah, like I said, we got almost four done already, and then the deal was for four or was it five? I can't sure. remember. Five, four, four or five, but we already have Nola and Pirate, and then we got two new ones, and then we got two after that. So I don't think a records a full record is gonna be that far off, but it's gonna be done and done weird. Because we're because we're weird. <laughs> just the way it we're we're but, not conventional. We never have been. So right. But don't you feel it's it's like a coming back, like you know, vinyl thing, or, or like the physical products are coming back? What do you think, Sam? I think I think it's just cool, just something to hold on to. But I don't think it's you know coming back. It's just so easy to hear anything just from your phone and like what we're, what we're doing right now. We're sitting here. You're in fucking argentina and we're in virginia on an iphone sitting on right. a tour bus and you're in your office so it's like <laughs> on a phone and it's like these kids they're just they're just on their phone all fucking day long so it's like i don't think it's no vinyl is it's it's it's, it's always it has a resurgence because it's something physical you can hold on to and right. it's like and it's cool and it's cool it's it brings you back See, it brings me back to my parents and my childhood. It brings him back to his grandparents. <laughs> fucking, fucking shit. So, whatever. What do you think, Sam, about like physical products? You prefer that or you prefer the digital? I'm not, it's hard because I do prefer the digital just because I'm, you know, that's, I just do everything off my phone. Right. But 
the physical holding the physical thing and being able to look at the artwork and look at everything that is something still that i believe people enjoy and uh you know it just depends on the listener and the individual but i think there's uh there's room for both for sure okay well one last question you you haven't been here in argentina never right sam i have not Okay. I, I haven't been since we saw you last. Since that's what. Been. That's my next question. Two thousand ten. Two thousand eleven. Eleven. Wow. Yeah, that's my Brazil tattoo. That I agree <laughs> with Brazil and Argentina. That was like almost like eleven years ago. Wow. That's eleven years. Long. Fuck. That's a, that's a long fucking time. It is. Time. It, it is any war to you guys to to come back or it's nothing like set up yet. Not none, nothing yet. Ronnie's coming down there, I think, with uh, Richie. Well, Richie, yeah. In November, yeah. in November. So, uh, but oh. we're we're working on it. We're working. We haven't been to South America at all since then. So, except for we went, we did do a, a, a Colombia. We did a, sh a couple shows in Colombia, and then we did one on Peru. But uh, we haven't done a whole South America shit, which, which we should do before we're dead. So at least for before I'm dead. Or Danny or Chad. Or Chad, Danny and Chad. Yeah. A few more decades left. Exactly. You never know. You never know. Yeah. Well, but I would love to get back down there. It's fucking let, killer. Let's hope to see you guys soon because I, I know I miss you. <laughs> I miss you too, brother. Uh, hopefully, I, I will get a chance to hang out with, uh, with Ronnie in November when he's here. I will try definitely. definitely do that. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for your time. Uh, I'm going to stop this recording. Don't go. I want to show you All something. All right, brother. All right. Last thing you want to say to Argentina fans so we can like upload this to our social media? Just so we want to come back. So we look forward to coming back as soon as we can. There you go. Thank you, Rose. Done.